Hi, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Unity, uh, your SDK going fully blank and not you not being able to upload your avatar. I'm going to go over two main scenarios when this can happen. So the first case is the most common one. And it happens mainly when you uh, edit your avatar, your FBX in Blender, you do some changes and you uh, save and export and override the FBX you have already in the project. So how we do, how we fix this? I'm gonna click on my FBX in the scene to find uh, where it is in my files. If I don't know, it's like pretty fast. I just click on the body and I click on the mesh here and I can see this is my FBX. So I click on it right, right here and it changed to uh, generic and we want it to be humanoid, to act as a humanoid. So we select humanoid, we apply and we wait for just about a minute, maximum two, depending on how big your avatar is. This is actually a fairly common problem. So uh, we click on it again, like this. So this configure button is like white and we can click it. So we click it, we save. And now what's gonna happen, uh, there's a couple of things that can happen. You might need to check all the bones that you don't want in those slots, such as the jaw. You also might be missing the chest again. So you put the chest back in, you click and drag. And for me, that would be everything. But also what can happen for you, it can look like this. Look like all these uh, red messages and characters not in T-pose and such. So how you fix this is you click pose, you enforce T-pose. That should be everything. If you still have problems, uh, the slots are, you know, I pointed wrongly, I need to fix that. And after you're done and everything's green and fine, you click done, you apply. Now that's gonna also take a little while to save, up to a minute or two. There we go. And you go into your Unity and it should be fixed. Now the second scenario is a bit niche, but it can happen occasionally. And I'm going to show you how to actually do that in two seconds, how to make it happen. It happens when your VRChat avatar, any single one of avatars you have in your scene, has not, doesn't have the animator component. Let me show you. I'm just going to remove this and see my unit is blank. Now it tells you in the console uh, that there's no animator attached and it's an error, which, you know, prevents everything for, to have, for, from happening. But you know, who, who reads console messages, right? So we go back. And there's a simple fix for it. We just add component, animator, and we need to, uh, and now this looks like it's fixed, but it isn't. We need to add the avatar into the slot. And avatar means if you click into your FBX, this little arrow, and you look for this little green humanoid figurine, and you drag it onto the avatar slot. And now it's gonna work. So this is how you fix the SDK going completely blank on you in uh, two different scenarios. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you later.